The next question number 35. So the owner of Old Passion Berry Pie, S. Simon, is contemplating adding a new line of pies which will require leasing new uh, equipment for a monthly payment of $6,000. A variable cost would be $2 per pie and pies would retail for uh, $7 each. So how many pies must be sold in order to break even? So ang kukunin natin dito is the break even point where in uh, hindi tayo uh, nalugi then uh, uh, hindi rin tayo kumita. So in choices natin uh, 1200 pies, 8400 pies, 30000 pies and 1000 pies. So yung formula ng break even point is equal to fixed cost over price minus the variable cost. So, kita naman sa problem na yung ating fixed cost, we're in monthly payment of $6,000. Over uh, price na $7 minus $2 na variable cost is equal to $1,200 pies. So, meaning, kapag uh, nakapagbenta ng $1,200 pies, yung ating uh, uh, profit is equal to 0. Or, hindi tayo kumita, hindi tayo na uh, luge. So, yun yung ating break-even point. So, yung answer natin is letter A. Then, what would be the profit or loss if 1,000 pies are made and sold in a month? So, kung 1,000 pies lang yung mabebenta sa loob ng isang buwan, so meaning, alam mo na agad na luge. Kasi, kung 1,200 yung break-even point, uh, yung profit natin doon ay zero, meaning, loss na talaga yung 1,000 pies. Ibig sabihin, pwede mo na lang piliin sa choices is, uh, letter B or letter D. So, the $1,000 loss or the $1,200 loss. So, paano natin i-compute? So, yung ating formula, profit or loss equal to price times X or the number of unit minus the variable cost times X minus the fixed cost. So, substitute lang natin. $7 times uh, 1,000 unit minus $2 times 1,000 unit minus 6,000 is equal to loss na $1,000. So, answer natin for this uh, problem is letter B, $1,000 uh, loss. Then, for question uh, 37, so how many pies must be sold to realize a profit of $4,000? So, ano naman daw yung uh, kailangang or gano'ng kadami yung kailangang ibenta para magkaroon ng profit na $4,000. So, equate lang natin ito dun sa ating formula wherein meron tayong uh, 4,000 na profit is equal to 7x minus 2x minus the fixed cost which is $6,000. So, makukuha natin dyan is 2,000 pies. So, kailangan mo makabenta ng 2,000 pies para magkaroon ka ng profit na $4,000. So, answer natin is letter B, 2,000 pies. Then for question number 38, a manager has the option of purchasing one, two, or three machine. Fixed cost and potential volume are as follow. So meron tayo yung uh, uh, ano dito, parang alternative. Kapag yung isang machine, ang cost niya is 9,600, then ang range of output niya is 0 to 300. Then kapag two machine, 15,000, range of output 301 to 600. And pag tatlong machine, 20,000 yung magiging annual cost and yung range of output is 601 to 900. So, variable cost is $10 per unit and price is $40 per unit. So, determine the break-even point when there are 3 machines. So, kapag 3 machines, then gagamitin lang natin is yung data ng 3 machines wherein yung annual cost is 20,000. Ito yung magiging fixed cost niya. Then, uh, variable is 10 and price is 40. So, substitute lang dun sa ating formula. 20,000 divide 40 minus 10 is equal to 666.67 units. So, yun yung ating break-even point for letter C. Then, uh, if projected annual demand is between 580 and 660 unit, how many machines should the manager purchase? So, for this particular uh, problem, kailangan muna natin ay kunin yung break-even point ng bawat uh, machine. So, kapag ba isang machine, ano ba yung ating break-even point? Kapag 2 machine, so ganun din. And kapag 3 machine, ganun din. So, ito yung ating uh, break-even point. For machine 1, meron 320 units. 
So, ang range of output niya is 0 to 300 kapag isang machine. So, meaning, so 320, hindi na, hindi na siya possible. Then, for uh, machine 2, so si 500 unit, pasok naman siya, pasok naman siya sa 300, 1 to 600. And also, yung sa machine 3 na 666.67, na pasok sa range na 600, 1 to 900. Pero, ang projected annual demand lang daw is 500 80 to 660 units. Uh, pipiliin natin yung machine 2. So, bakit machine 2? So, ang break-even point ni machine 2 is 500. So, meaning kapag nakapag-produce siya ng 500, ang profit niya is 0. Ay, ang annual demand natin is 580 to 660. Meaning, mataas yung magiging profit niya. Unlike dito sa machine 3, so, ang break-even point pa niya ay 666.67. Pero, kung ang annual uh, demand lang is hanggang 660, hindi pa siya tutubo, meaning lugi pa yung uh, mangyayari. Kaya pipiliin dito is uh, machine 2. So letter C or dalawang machine. So yan. So question number 40. A firm's manager must decide whether to make or buy a certain item using the production of vending machine. Cost and volume is, uh, estimate are as follow. So, yan, na dyan yung data. So, given this number, should the firm buy this item? So, ang gagamitin natin is, uh, i-co-compare natin yung total cost ng make and buy. So, total cost for making is equal to uh, fixed cost, $150,000, plus 60 na variable cost times 12,000 uh, unit is equal to $870,000. Then, total cost for buying is 0 plus 80 times 12,000 unit is equal to $960,000. So, syempre, kung ano yung minimum na total cost, yun yung ating pipiliin. So, ang tanong ay, should the firm buy this item? So, ang sagot natin ay, no. So, kasi dapat ay gagawin na lang. Then, uh, there is a possibility that vol uh, volume could change in the future. So, at what volume would the manager be indifferent between making and buying? So, ang gagawin natin dito is i-equate natin yung uh, make to buy. So, 150,000 plus 60x is equal to 0 plus 80x. Kukunin natin yung uh, quantity niya. So, ang lalabas dyan is 7,500 or letter B. Then, 42, Bell Company manufacture and sell three product. Product A, B, and C. The following data has been provided by the company. The selling price for A, B, C, and the variable cost for A, B, C. So, the company incurred in $120,000 total fixed cost. Expected the sales of the three product in the following ratio. So, 35% of A, 50% of B, and 15% of C. So, compute the break-even point of the company in units. So, nandiyan yung ating choices. So, gagamitin lang natin yung uh, break-even point pa din na uh, fixed cost over price minus variable cost. Pero, kukunin muna natin yung weighted selling price and weighted variable cost. Imumultiply natin yung uh, ratio na given dun sa uh, selling price per product A, B, and C. So, ang lalabas dyan, weighted selling price natin, 102.5, and weighted variable cost is 72. So, substitute lang sa formula. Then, lalabas na ang break-even point natin is 3,934.43 units. So, letter D. Then, for question number 43, so, Southern Hospital Supply, a company that makes hospital grown, is considering the capacity expansion. Its alternative are to do nothing, build a small plant, build a medium plant, or build a large plant. The new facility would produce a new type of grown, and currently the potential or marketability for this product is unknown. If a large plant is built and favorable market exists, a profit of $100,000 could be realized. An unfavorable, uh, unfavorable market would yield $90,000 loss. However, a medium plant would earn $60,000 profit with a favorable market and $10,000 uh, loss from an unfavorable market. So, a small plant, on the other hand, would return $40,000 with favorable market 
and loss na $5,000 na unfavorable market. So, of course, there's an always option of doing nothing. So, bakit ba meron tayong option lagi na doing nothing? Kasi pag yung uh, EMB ng ating other alternative ay negative, so, kailangan nating piliin na do nothing na lang. So, uh, recent market research indicate that there is point for probability of a favorable market which means that there is also 0.6 probability of an unfavorable market. So, what, what alternative should be selected? So, ang ginamit natin is payoffs uh, table na lang. So, nandyan, kukunin mo lang yung EMB or expected monetary value and i-compare natin in each uh, i-compare natin in each alternative. So, lalabas dyan is Uh, yung medium ay may mas mataas na EMB, which is $18,000. So, pipili natin is to build a medium plant. So, for question number 44, so what is the expected monetary value for the selected alternative? So, kita naman natin kanina na uh, yung mas ma mas ma uh, taas na EMB ay yung build a medium, uh, which is Uh, $18,000. So, ibig sabihin yung ating EMB ay $18,000 or letter D. Then, if a new estimate of loss from a medium plant is an unfavorable market increased to negative uh, $20,000, so what is the new EMB for this branch? So, papalitan lang natin yung negative $10,000 ng negative $20,000. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong $12,000 na new EMB. So, answer is letter A. Then, question number 46. So, a firm that plans to expand its production line must decide whether to build a small or large plant facility to, uh, to produce the new product. If it build a small facility and demand is low, the NPB after deducting for building costs will be $400,000. If demand is high, the firm can either maintain the small facility or expand it. Expansion would have a net present value of $450,000 and maintaining the small facility would have an NPB of $50,000. If the large facility is built and demand is high, the expected net uh, present value is $800,000. Then, if demand return out to below, the net present value is negative $10,000. The probability that demand will be high is uh, 60% and probability that demand is low is uh, 40%. So, what is the best alternative? So, ito yung payoff stable niya. So, sa build a large plant, mumultiply lang natin, 800,000 times 0.6 plus negative 10,000 times 0.4 is equal to $476,000. Then, for um, small facility, meron tayong uh, dalawang uh, choices kapag uh, high demand. So, either expand or maintain. Pero ang pipiliin natin dito ay yung may malaking value. Yung expand the $450,000 times 0.6 plus 400,000 times 0.4 is equal to 430,000. Ibig sabihin, pinakamalaking value pa din na EMB is 470, uh, 476,000 which is to build a large facility or letter C. Then what is the net present value of an investment that costs 75,000 uh, and has a salvage value of $45,000? So, the annual profit from the investment is $15,000 each year for 5 years. And the cost of capital at uh, risk is 12%. So, para makuha natin yung NPV, uh, kukunin natin si cash inflow minus the cash outflow. So, ano ba yung mga inflow or mga perang pumasok? So, syempre meron tayong annual na profit for 5 years. So, ito yun, $15,000 times 1 minus 1 plus 0.12 raised to negative 5 over 0.12 plus meron tayo papasok na salvage value na 45,000 multiply natin sa 1 plus 0.12 raised to negative 5 since uh, ang hinahanap natin is present value so si salvage andun pa siya sa future dadalhin natin ng present kaya siya ay negative So, ang cash inflow natin is 79,605.85. Then, meron tayong lumabas na pera na 75,000, meaning ang ating NPB, uh, NPB is 
4,605.85 or letter C. Then question number 48, the following table is an example. So example ito ng master production schedule, letter C. 